Hi guys, Paul Schroeder, El Paso Kung Fu. I'm joined by Master Matthew Cuellar from the West Side facility and also with Master Jesus Melendez. We wanted to talk a little bit with you guys today. We're having a good time here on Thursday doing some different techniques. We wanted to give you a tip, a self-defense tip that can help you where you're at, even if you're not training in the martial arts and you just like to know a little bit of self-defense. So hopefully this is helpful to you. I wanna talk about uh, posturing for a fight. If if Master Matt and Jesus were facing each other here and they put their hands up, right? We know what they're doing. They're fighting, right? There's no question. However, the different scenario is if, if Master Matt comes up to me and he wants to hurt me or he's about to do something to me, the first one to put his hands up, it, it shows that the fight is on. So we talk a lot about making a transition between uh, a fight that is an agreed upon combat, like, okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's fight versus having to start to defend yourself from a not ready position. Uh, the first thing is you do, you wanna put your hands up, but you don't wanna put them up in a way that shows your hands. So if I lift my hands and walk around like this to these guys, or how's it going guys? Good, you doing good? Hey, how are you sir? Then, I mean, they're gonna get ready to fight me back. If I walk around Walmart like this, I'm gonna get in a fight, okay? Uh, but I do need to put my hands up. Now, a lot of self-defense instructors will talk about putting your hands up like this, but to me, this is also pretty much the same thing. I mean, you know what's, what's happening here. You could do that, but I like the Y posture, okay? The Y posture is I can ask questions. I can say, hey, man, I, I don't know what, you know what it is that you, what you want, what you want, but my hands are up and I'm ready to hit. So this is a posture we like to use uh, at our school when we teach these types of techniques. And I wanted to show you a technique that you can use from that Y posture if I feel like he's threatening, He's in my face, I put my hands up. Something that I can use right now to subdue him and take care of this threat. So, here's what we're gonna do. When he comes up real close, my hands are up already. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my left hand and I'm gonna smack him in the back of the head. And my right hand is gonna hit him right in the solar plexus. I'm gonna go here, okay? Because that's gonna knock him forward. Once this hits and that hits and he comes forward, I'm gonna thread my left hand inside underneath my armpit so that I set him right up for the choke, okay? From here I can guillotine choke and put him to sleep. So again, hey man, look, I don't want any trouble, okay? Bigger guy, I don't know if this will work on this guy. Bigger than me. So when I hit, I want my fist up and I want it to go straight, okay? I don't want to gear up to do that, I don't want to do this. Hands up, right from this position, I hit, I hit, pull his head right in, lean my weight on top of him, bring my hips forward, and there's my DMT choke. So I'm gonna have these two bruisers uh, kind of demonstrate this. Thanks a lot. We'll see you. We'll see you soon.